And if anybody's dating you, they better be serious about marriage because God is serious about you getting married. This is no more play time for you. You're stepping into your destiny. There's going to be a, there's, this whole two days, the mother thing, you've been weeping more for people. It's like your whole heart's been breaking for people. That's the heart of a mother that God shaping inside of you. So you get ready. But this is a serious time of development. And all your little frustrations and things you thought are so irritating, God said, I'm using those things to develop your heart. A wife and a mother and a minister. But Father, we thank you right now. There is something on you right now. That's it right there. Something on you right now. Are you coming to this church again? Or are you floating? Where do you go to church at? What are you doing over there? Rachel. The heart of a shepherd, the heart of a pastor is inside of you. Are you not the most articulate person yelling and screaming, but that pastoral heart is what God's after. And there is such a deep well inside of you, son. But you got a hard time making decisions because you want everything to be perfect and safe. So you paralyze many times you're going to make decisions. But today the Lord said, I will lead you. And if it doesn't look safe, I'll make it safe. If it's not perfect, I'll make it perfect. Today God is shifting your heart about marriage, about ministry, about leadership. It's coming on you right now. I'm not saying marry this girl, but either get it on or get it off. Either get it on or get it off. Either get it on or get it off. Because the Holy Ghost wants to do something awesome with both of you. Get it on and get it off. Get the girl up here. How long have you been dating? Excuse me. Six years? Do you love this girl? Do you love this guy? Let's propose right now. Her mom is going to be so mad because she's not here. <laughs> Jesse Noel. I can truly look. I want you to look at me because you never look at me when I talk to you like this. You never look at me. I want you to look at me. You are truly my best friend for the past now 11 years now. We have been like this before we were dating. And you were the when you got saved, you were the person to say, hey, God loves you. God has a plan for you. God, you are so amazing. All this stuff, you shared the love of God. I've seen so many hypocrites in my life, even in the midst of your junk. You were fresh. You were freshly saved. You were new in Jesus. And you said, hey, with all your junk, you said, hey, Ray. You, something, something's got to give with you. And at that moment, I, I hadn't cried in years. I don't even know if I told you that, but I hadn't cried in years at that point. I was maybe 15. And I, I remember crying. I was like, what? Why am I crying? I don't, I don't, I don't do that. And, but for somebody so close to me, to me, for me to see that there was a change that there was a change in you, then that, that let me know that something was real. That God was real. That Jesus was real. That he's for right now. And over the years, we've grown closer and closer and closer. Not just because we're dating. It's because we've, we've just been around each other forever. And I don't even know what to say. I don't have it on me right now, but it is bought. Like... <laughs> I bought it. I actually, <laughs> I started paying on that ring in November 2009, and I got it two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> the 
It's in your, it's in Pastor Aaron's gun safe. So, I'm not really good with the mushy stuff right now, but Jesse Noel. Spend the rest of your life with me as my wife. <laughs> Will you marry me? I moved here two years ago today. So much in me has just changed. And the moment I got here, everything that the enemy wanted to throw at me happened. The house that I was going to move into the, the owner said, no, you can't stay here because I want a married couple living here. And then a bunch of drama happened with her and I. And I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to work. I seriously didn't. But God is so faithful. He is so faithful. And I can't believe I just got engaged. So when we, when we go back to the house, you can, uh, it's a thick band. It's, it's pretty dope. No, I ain't took a picture. But uh, I don't have anything else to say. Come on. Come on, honey. Okay, now here's what the deal is. When you're part of a house, God speaks to the fathers of the house or the mothers of the house. And I had no idea they'd been going for six years, but I just said, they got to do something because they're going to drive each other crazy. And, you know, this is not a Sunday morning deal. This is a family prophetic meeting. And so if you want to be in a family church, this is what happens when it's prophetic. And so, Father, we bless their decisions. We'll support their decisions. And we thank you that they'll have all the access to whatever they need to make this thing work and i'm seeing three kids coming out of this deal so you get ready for it amen and that, i'm not joking with you i see three incredible kids coming out of you godly seed that's what god wants from you guys amen well praise god what a great night well we have it on film amen hallelujah they've been wearing those purity rings on their right hand kept themselves pure before God with each other. They're a blessing. These kids are amazing. They are amazing. And they belong. Nobody around here doubts that. She's still got another year or so of college, but then it's going to be not going to be an issue. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for Ray and Jesse. That's what happens, you know, these guys, they come and be custodians at the church, and 
sweet floors. Trey, Trey did it, and he married Bethany. Ray did it, now he's got Jesse. So find a guy that's willing to be the custodian at Jubilee, and, and yeah, that's a secret. That's a secret. If he can't be a servant, no. <laughs> That's good. Well, my goodness. Okay, Jesse. It's called being happy and being scared all at the same time. Well, what a what a great weekend. Amazing. You know how many people have been baptized in the Holy Spirit Sunday morning, Sunday night, tonight? I mean, it's just like this family over here, man, what a deal. Malcolm, thank you, buddy, for stepping up and letting God bless you and use you. Terrence, I heard it. We got it on video. Before God, your mom and everybody. When he was a little kid, Paul, I... He used to bring his briefcase and his sermon notes and he would preach in children's church because he had to call a God on his life and God had never changed his mind. Wow. Well. I think I'm still recording this. I want to say a word about Terrence. Um, we were preaching in Canada.